Holy crap, guys. Look what I see here. I told you to stay away. Alright guys, today I am in Mansfield, Ohio, and right behind me is a Spirit Halloween that is in an old Chuck E. Cheese. Look at that, you can see where Chuck E. used to be right up here, and then it used to say Chuck E. Cheese right behind the Halloween. How cool is that? Alright, let's go in. How very strange, you come in the doors here, and then this over here is the door to go into Spirit. Very weird. Okay, let's go check it out. Enter. Admission to the fun is always free. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, there's actually doors that come in from the outside right there that I didn't see. Anyways, as you come in these doors, here is the setup that greets you. And right over here, we have punctured Pete going crazy. Hey, mister. Oh, you got a splinter? Okay. We got half a head Jack over here talking about something, about walking amongst the dead with his half a head or something like that, I don't know. He is absolutely huge. Look at his long fingers. I know I've said it before. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's a little louder than the other ones have been. I still couldn't quite catch exactly what he was saying, but something about unearthing the ground and your destiny or eternity or something, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I know, sir, I already heard you. And look up here, we have one single chain of death swooped over the side, but we do have the tiles of death. We got the pumpkin carvomatic with the two guys who apparently have already been fired or died on the job or something because the carvomatic is not even moving. These pumpkins are just like standing still. All right, guys, you're gonna have to get on unemployment, I guess. Oh wait, I see a jumping spider peeking out over here. Let's see if he works. Come on now, come on now. He doesn't work. All right, little guy, one day you'll come back from the dead. Well, we do have some animatronics over here that are available. We have two of experiment number four. That's the one where the hand like shoots out at you. Yeah, there's actually two of those. And then we got two Harriet Hustles over here. Kind of surprises me they don't have one of these set up. We have four creepy crimson girl on a swing. She reminds me of that singer Sia with that white hair creepy and of course we have the jumping spiders then these are we got the brown one we got the black one uh, and I guess that's it the brown and the black all right let's take a little walk through here see what else we can find any other animatronic set up I don't see any at the moment but maybe on the other side of the store because they do have a whole other side of the store hmm yeah Nothing over here. We'll come back and look at the costumes and stuff in a minute. Well, here's where Sam and Shorty would be, but there's nothing but a random chair sitting there. That's weird. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, here's some more setup back here. Some more of the Halloween factory. Let's go see if there's any anim animatronics. Mmm, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. There are none set up, guys. Absolutely nothing. I don't think I've seen any other stores that had no animatronic set up in this part. Okay, that is a disappointment, but let's go back over here and look at some of the costumes. I know, Punctured Pete, we've already talked, you crazy, crazy guy. I don't think I've seen the Midnight Sorceress before, or the Coven Witch. Look, a where in the world is Carmen Sandiego backpack? And a little lipstick and compact set, binoculars. Colonel Sanders. Oh look, they have the Hugs costume. I haven't seen this costume in a lot of stores this year. They are all for kids. I'll have to check the adult section and see if they have it too. Hugs is definitely one of my all-time favorites. And look at this clown cleaver. This is pretty cool. Look at the teeth on that thing. 
Oh my gosh, now this one is cool. Bobblehead pumpkin costume. Look at that. Look how big the pumpkin head is. That's awesome. It's like a big foam pumpkin mask. Here's a bald wig if you want to be that Nate guy for Halloween. Look at this. You could be AC Slater from Saved by the Bell. You could be a donut, french fries, or a taco. Look, it's an eyeball that you glue onto your head. Oh, look, they have lots of Scream costumes here, including the one with the chrome ghost face. Whole wall of Hocus Pocus stuff. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. Oh, look at this. Somebody told me to keep an eye out for snow globes. This is a skull with a blackbird in there, and it's snowing black snow. Look, guys, they have the Uncle Charlie costume. That is totally sweet. That's extra large. That's the adult size. Wish I could put some stickers in his bucket. Oh, they actually have Cruella's red gown at this one. I haven't seen that in other stores. It's usually just the wig and uh, the makeup and stuff. Oh, they have the choker, too, and the earrings. They have a Sully suit. Look, from Monsters, Inc. They had a really awesome one of these that came out of the Disney store years ago. This one's pretty cool, too. Lots of Hocus Pocus and Harry Potter. They have the inflatable Stay Puffed. Whole bunch of light-up marshmallow helmets. Let's see if it works. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Changes colors and everything. Pretty cool. Astronaut suits and helmets. Wait, look, they actually have astronaut boots up here, too. Apparently, you just put them over your shoes or something. But look at the cool helmet. My son wanted to be an astronaut one year, and we made a helmet at home. It was kind of a pain, so it's kind of cool that they have these available. Look at this, a steampunk goblet. I don't know if I've seen that in other stores either. That's kind of cool if you're into steampunk. Then here's a medieval goblet. That's pretty cool. Look at this helmet over here. Put this in, put this on and go into battle. And if you win the battle, you could become the noble king. Look, I thought this said warrior queed. It says warrior queen. What in the heck is a warrior queed? Oh, look, you gotta love the hippie stuff. Look at this shirt. All right, let's see what comes with this one. Shirt, wig, glasses, peace sign necklace. So I wonder, do you, oh yeah, you get the fro, you get the afro wig and the glasses and the peace sign necklace that he's wearing. That is too funny. Oh, look, you could buy it separately too. They have the peace pendant tie-dyed shirts, and look, a hippie poncho. I love that. Fringe boot covers, like what she's wearing. I love that outfit, actually. And here's the feather headband. Here's the dude's hippie kit with the peace necklace and the glasses and the headband. And then up here is the chick hippie kit. The hippie chick. Holy crap, guys. Look what I see here three zombie babies I have not seen in other stores. This is the one that everybody keeps posting pictures of on the Facebook page. That is so hilarious and so creepy. And then here's this one that's actually eating bugs. Let's see what his or her name is. Ravenous Ruby is her name. She's eating cockroaches. What in the world? And then this one, look, oh, this is the snake one. This is the snake one that a bunch of people were trying to find. Let's see what his name is. Ronnie the Rebel. Why wouldn't it be like Sandy the Snake Eater or something like that? I don't see any burrito babies, but it is cool that they do have those that I haven't seen in other stores. Animated Reaper Greeter. The animated doll greeter. Let's see if she works. Ooh. <laughs> you gotta love that laugh. <laughs> Okay, let's try this guy. No, he's not working, and he's not either. That laugh sounded like the Angeline animatronic from last year. <laughs> they do have the inflatable haunted tree and the skeleton, inflatable ghost, inflatable reaper, the skull, the Frankenstein, and the Wolfman. Apparently, this is the only haunted doll they have. Decrepit Donna, as we were calling her in the other store. Look at this sweet thing. It's, an, it's a, like a zombie skeleton arm holding a swinging light-up pumpkin. Oh, and this is a skull. It's a mossy skull under there. That is actually pretty cool. And then we have the burning skull pathway markers. Yeah. Gotta love those. Let's see what kind of spooky stuff they got hanging over here. 
All right, oh look, they got the double head. Hello, double head. Look at how his mouth is like stapled on the one, that is creepy. They got this guy that needs the scope because he has no teeth for Aquafresh. And the creepy uh, nurse, I guess, the screaming nurse. Let's see, okay, here we go. What? I couldn't understand a word she just said. But there's these guys up here who need the Aquafresh. Now, this is an awesome mask here. I pointed this out before, the Nighty Night Mask. And this is the one that the, uh, yeah, the jaw moves when you talk. That is cool. They got a couple of Halloween masks here, Halloween 2 and then Halloween 2018. But I don't see Halloween Kills. They do have both of the Beetlejuice masks. This one and that one and a couple of the outfits here. Oh look, it's Lydia's dress. Of course they have the Jason stuff, Friday the 13th. Freddy, and oh they got the Freddy shirt and the Freddy glove, the deluxe glove. All right guys, that's it. That was pretty uneventful actually, but stick around, we still have the rest of October and a whole bunch more to go to. I told you to stay away. Oh, yeah.